ever pondered about the significance of data visualization in our increasingly data-driven world. In today's era, where data is the new oil, understanding and interpreting this data is of crucial importance. And that's where data visualization steps in. Data visualization is like a universal translator for the complex language of data. It simplifies intricate data sets into understandable visual formats. Think of it as a bridge translating the esoteric world of numbers and figures into a language that is universally understood, visuals. In a world where millions of data points are generated every second, finding the needle of meaningful information in the haystack of data can be challenging. This is where data visualization shines. It uncovers the patterns, trends and insights that often go undetected in the raw, unprocessed data. It's like having a magnifying glass that brings the important details into focus while pushing the irrelevant noise into the background. But data visualization is not just about making data more comprehensible. It's also about making data-driven decision-making more accessible. By presenting data in a visual format, it allows us to see the bigger picture, literally. It's like having a map that guides us through the dense forest of data, helping us make informed decisions based on the landmarks and pathways we can visually identify. Moreover, data visualization is instrumental in storytelling. It brings life to data, transforming cold, hard facts into compelling narratives. It paints a picture with data, making the information more memorable and engaging. It's like a storybook, turning dry statistical reports into captivating tales. Despite its many benefits, data visualization is not a magic wand. It requires careful design and thoughtful interpretation to effectively communicate the stories hidden in the data. But when done right, it can be an incredibly powerful tool in our data-driven world. So it's clear that data visualization plays a pivotal role in decoding the stories hidden within data. It allows us to see beyond the numbers and understand the insights they hold. In the end, it's all about making data speak in a language that everyone can understand. Data visualization isn't a one-size-fits-all process. There are numerous techniques to explore. First off, let's talk about bar charts. These are the workhorse of data visualization. They display categorical data with rectangular bars of heights or lengths proportional to the values they represent. Bar charts are particularly useful when you want to compare a single category of data between individual sub-items. Next, we have pie charts. This technique is like the dessert of data visualization, sweet and simple. Pie charts are used to display the proportional allocation among categories. However, while they may look like a tasty treat, they can be less effective when there are too many slices or if the values are similar. Then we have line graphs. Think of these as the highway of data visualization. They are perfect for showing trends over time. Line graphs can reveal trends and progress over time, and they can work with multiple data sets. Let's move on to scatter plots. These are like stargazing for data analysts. Scatter plots allow us to see the relationship between two numerical variables and can show whether increases in one variable correspond to increases in another. However, they can be challenging to interpret when there are too many data points. Heat maps, on the other hand, are like weather maps for data. They show the density of variables in a gradient color scale, allowing the viewer to understand complex data sets at a glance. But remember, they require a careful choice of color palette to be effective. There are also more advanced techniques like tree maps, box plots, and radar charts. Each of these serves a unique purpose. Tree maps, for instance, are great for displaying large amounts of hierarchical data. Box plots, on the other hand, can give you a higher level overview of a data set, showing things like the median, quartiles and potential outliers. And then there's radar charts. These are like the Swiss Army, knife of data visualization, capable of displaying multiple quantitative variables. But no matter the technique, each has its strengths and weaknesses. Bar charts, while straightforward, may not work well for displaying trends over time. Pie charts can become confusing with too many slices. Line graphs can be misleading if not scaled properly. Scatter plots can be hard to interpret with too many data points. Heat maps require careful color choices. Choosing the right technique depends on your data and what you want to communicate. 
Sometimes you might even need to use a combination of techniques to effectively tell the story of your data. Remember, data visualization is not just about displaying data. It's about making complex data understandable, insightful, and actionable. It's an art as much as it is a science. Choosing the right technique can make all the difference in how your data narrates its story. Now, let's delve a little deeper into more advanced data visualization techniques. In the world of data visualization, there are tools and techniques that go beyond the basics of bar charts and pie graphs. These advanced techniques allow us to effectively manage and present larger and more complex data sets, offering a more detailed perspective. Firstly, there are tree maps. Imagine a tree with its many branches and leaves. Tree maps work in a similar fashion. They display hierarchical data as a set of nested rectangles. Each branch of the tree is represented by a rectangle, which is then tiled with smaller rectangles that represent sub-branches. This means that with a quick glance you can see the overall structure of your data and then delve into more detailed information as needed. Tree maps are particularly useful when dealing with large amounts of data that vary widely in size. Next, let's talk about geospatial maps. As the name suggests, geospatial maps have to do with data that is tied to specific geographical locations. These maps are not just about displaying data, they're about telling a story. They can show patterns, trends and correlations that might go unnoticed in text-based data. For example, you can use a geospatial map to visually represent the spread of a disease, the distribution of a population or the concentration of resources. The power of geospatial maps lies in their ability to turn abstract data into something more tangible and relatable. And then there are 3D plots. Traditional 2D plots are great, but sometimes they just don't cut it. That's where 3D plots come in. They add an additional dimension to your data, allowing you to visualize it from different angles and perspectives. This can reveal patterns and correlations that might be hidden in a 2D view. 3D plots are commonly used in fields like engineering and physics, but they're also becoming more popular in other areas like economics and social sciences. But remember, while these advanced techniques can help you uncover deeper insights, they shouldn't replace the basics. Instead, they should complement them. It's about using the right tool for the right job. Sometimes, a simple bar chart might tell the story better than a complex 3D plot. It all depends on your data and what you're trying to achieve. So, don't be afraid to experiment and try different techniques. The goal of data visualization is not just to make data look pretty, but to make it understandable and insightful. By using advanced techniques, you can enhance your data storytelling and make your findings more engaging and persuasive. Advanced techniques open up new dimensions of data exploration, making it possible to unearth even deeper insights. With the right tool, data visualization can be a breeze. This statement rings true as we delve into the world of data visualization tools. There's a wide range of tools available, each with its unique features, strengths and weaknesses. Today, we'll take a closer look at three popular tools, Tableau, Power BI and D3. JS. Firstly, we have Tableau, a robust tool that can create compelling visualizations from complex data. Its user-friendly interface makes it a favorite among beginners and professionals alike. Tableau shines in its ability to simplify data analysis, allowing users to create interactive dashboards with a simple drag-and-drop feature. It also supports a wide range of visualizations, from simple bar graphs to complex geographical heat maps. However, while Tableau offers a free version, its advanced features come with a steep price tag. Next up is Power BI, a product of Microsoft, known for its seamless integration with other Microsoft products. Like Tableau, Power BI also offers a user-friendly interface with drag-and-drop functionalities. Its strength lies in its ability to handle large datasets and perform real-time analytics. Power BI also supports a wide variety of visualizations and allows users to customize them extensively. On the downside, Power BI's pricing can be a bit complex, with different tiers for different levels of functionality. Lastly, we step into the realm of JavaScript with D3, JSD3. 
JS stands out as it's not a typical drag-and-drop tool like Tableau or Power BI. Instead, it's a JavaScript library that gives users the freedom to create unique and highly customized visualizations. This flexibility comes at the cost of a steeper learning curve, but it's worth the effort for those who need tailored visualizations. And the best part? D3. JS is completely free. So, how do we choose the right tool? Well, that depends on your specific needs. If you're looking for a tool that's easy to use and can create beautiful visualizations quickly, Tableau might be your best bet. But if you're working with large datasets and need real-time analytics, Power BI could be the way to go. And if you're a coder at heart, seeking the freedom to create unique visualizations, then D3, JS is your tool. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all tool. Each tool has its strengths and weaknesses, and the best one for you will depend on your unique needs and circumstances. Take time to explore these tools, get a feel for their interfaces, and understand their capabilities before making a decision. Choosing a tool that fits your needs can significantly streamline your data visualization process. So, whether you're a data analyst looking to uncover hidden insights, a marketer seeking to present data in an engaging way, or a student just starting your journey in data visualization. Remember the right tool can make all the difference. But what if you want your data to be more engaging and interactive? A question that data analysts, scientists and enthusiasts alike have asked themselves. The answer lies in interactive and dynamic visualization tools. These tools are not just about making data look good, they are about making data understandable, accessible and engaging. Imagine being able to zoom in on a data point to reveal more information or to change the parameters of a graph with a simple click. That's the power of interactivity. Interactive visualization tools take us beyond static graphs and charts, allowing us to interact with the data, leading to a more immersive data exploration experience. This interaction enables us to delve deeper into the data, uncovering patterns and insights that may have been hidden in a static representation. Dynamic visualization, on the other hand, adds another layer of engagement. Dynamic visualizations change over time, offering a moving picture of data. This can be particularly useful when dealing with large data sets or when tracking changes over a period of time. These tools are not just for data analysts. They can be used by anyone who wants to understand and communicate data more effectively. Whether you're a journalist trying to explain a complex issue to your readers, a student working on a project, or a CEO looking to make data-driven decisions, interactive and dynamic visualization tools can enhance your data storytelling. There are several tools available from open source software to sophisticated business intelligence platforms. Some of these tools require coding skills, while others are designed to be user-friendly for non-technical users. The key is to choose the tool that best suits your needs and skill level. Remember, the goal of data visualization is not just to present data, but to tell a story with it. Interactive and dynamic visualizations allow us to do just that, offering a more engaging, immersive and intuitive way to understand and communicate data. So, if you want your data to be more than just numbers on a page, if you want it to tell a story, to engage, to captivate, consider using interactive and dynamic visualization tools. Interactive and dynamic visualizations can truly bring your data to life. Good data visualization isn't just about the right technique or tool, it's also about design and presentation. When it comes to data visualization, design principles play a crucial role in conveying the story behind the numbers. Let's explore some fundamental design principles and best practices that will make your visualizations more effective. First, let's talk about color. Color is not merely an aesthetic choice, it's a powerful tool to highlight, differentiate and categorize data. It's important to choose colors that not only look good together, but also make your data easy to understand. For instance, using contrasting colors can help distinguish different data sets, while a monochromatic color scheme can be used to show a progression or hierarchy. Next, we move on to layout. A well-structured layout can guide your viewer's eyes through the information in a logical order. This can be achieved by using techniques like F or Z patterns, which are based on natural eye movement. 
Aligning elements, maintaining consistency and providing white space can also improve the readability and comprehension of your visualizations. Simplicity is another key principle. In a world where we're bombarded with information, simplicity can make your visualizations stand out. The aim is to eliminate unnecessary clutter that could distract from the data. Remember, less is often more. Avoid overloading your visuals with too many colors, shapes or text. Stick to one main idea per visualization and let your data take center stage. Finally, it's crucial to tailor your visualizations to your audience. Understand their needs, their level of expertise and what they expect to gain from your data. This will help you decide on the level of complexity, the type of visualization and the amount of detail needed. These principles and best practices are not hard and fast rules, but guidelines to help you create visualizations that are not only visually appealing, but also effective in communicating your data. Remember, the goal is to make your data as accessible and understandable as possible. So we've traversed the landscape of data visualization from its importance to techniques, tools, and best practices. We began by understanding the importance of data visualization. It's not just about creating pretty graphs or charts, it's about transforming raw, complex data into a format that is easily understandable, actionable and insightful. It's about telling a story that can influence decisions and drive change. Then we delved into different data visualization techniques, from basic ones like bar graphs and pie charts, to more advanced techniques like heat maps and scatter plots. Each technique has its own strengths and weaknesses. The key is to choose the one that best represents your data and conveys your story effectively. We also explored various data visualization tools, from static tools like Excel and Tableau to more dynamic and interactive ones like D3JS and Power BI. These tools not only help in creating visualizations, but also in exploring and analyzing the data. We then ventured into the realm of interactive and dynamic visualization tools. These tools take data visualization to the next level by allowing users to interact with the data, drill down for more details and see the data change in real time. Finally, we discuss design principles and best practices for data visualization. We emphasize the significance of simplicity, clarity and consistency. We also stress the importance of choosing the right colors, fonts and scales and avoiding chart junk. In conclusion, data visualization is not just about data. It's about the story that data tells and how it's told. It's about choosing the right visualization technique and tool based on the data and the story it needs to tell. It's about following best practices to ensure that the visualization is clear, understandable and impactful. Data visualization is an art and a science. Mastering it can give you the power to tell compelling stories, make informed decisions and truly harness the power of data.